Hello guys and welcome back to another video. You guys kindly join me with a beautiful view behind me as you can see, but it's not about that today, it's about the car that I'm about to show you guys today. Now Toyota has kindly challenged me to review this car and they definitely knew that I wouldn't drive a car like this. They threw the spanner in the works because Yash likes fast cars. But you know what? Let's go way back from when Yash first got his first car. It also was the same engine and in fact, the same color as this car that I'm featuring today. So that's why I thought, you know what? Let's go down memory lane and let's feature this car. This video is mainly targeted for people that are potentially getting their first new car or also people that want to drive a cheap economical car. So this video is for you guys please like share and subscribe and let's get straight into this one Okay, so now let's take this car for a drive. Oh wait, actually I forgot something. Today's video is sponsored by Car Vertical. Okay, so as we're doing a Toyota iGo video, it only makes sense to do a Toyota iGo. So as you can see, this has had tampered mileage and also it has been involved in an accident. So if we can just scroll down, you can see the spotted activity. Now this mentions any MOT history and any registered key part changes. Scrolling down to the mileage, as you can see, from 31,979, it dips all the way back down to 18,500. Now, I must say so myself, that's a bit fishy. Now, as you can see, the damage where it was done, normally it will mention the estimated cost of repair, but maybe from the sounds of this, this could have been a full write-off. So if we can scroll down to see the pictures, maybe we can see what happened. Now, if you ask me, that looks like a complete write-off. Front end damage, side damage, rear damage. It shows a lot of in-depth pictures, so you can see the history of the car that you might potentially want to buy or that you've already bought. Guys, make sure you check them out, especially right now with the Black Friday deals. Check out the link in the description box below and you can get yourself a nice discount code. Now, without further ado, let's get straight back into the video. Thank you, Car Vertical. Okay, so first things first, we're starting it off. I'm driving down some country lanes and you know what? The width and the size of this car is actually so perfect for these type of roads because it's so narrow. So I don't need to worry about, you know, scraping any of trees or leaves oh we've got a dog in the way let's just pass these people okay so this car has a one litre naturally aspirated three cylinder engine which produces 72 brake horsepower and 93 newton meters of torque around 4400 rpm uh, this is actually a five-speed manual gearbox you can also get them in an automatic so this being a brand new car obviously it's a euro six so for you les and all of that it's perfect the color of this car is actually red pop which is a solid color uh, and it's obviously got black parts to it as well which definitely complements the red um, it has 15 inch alloys 10 spoke and this is actually the X trend, which is the middle range of the car. The lower range is the um, X play, and then the top spec is the exclusive, um, which there isn't much difference between the exclusive and this one. You could also get a JBL pack, which gives you 
um, better sound system to the audio speakers because this is more targeted towards probably the younger generation so a lot of people in the younger generation love to listen to music so that's why you know you have that optional extra however even with this particular model um, as standard the speakers are actually really good I was really surprised um, and when I did a bit more research into it these speakers are actually from Pioneer so it's actually pretty good when I had my Corolla that had the JBL upgrade and I literally feel like this is on level with that like it's crazy this being a smaller car obviously you're gonna hear the music probably a bit more better than I did in the Corolla so I'm on the motorway it is a little bit loud in here I'm not sure if you could actually pick that up uh, I'm in fifth gear this is the five-speed manual so I'm pretty much doing 70 miles per hour and yeah the cabin it is quite loud um, yeah but when I look around me it's very spacious considering it's a small car the fuel tank is 35 litres and you range around 57.6 miles to the gallon I'm currently getting about 42.7 which I would say that's pretty good if I say so myself considering the way I drive anyways <laughs> um, and to buy one of these brand new is around £16,000 so in regards to comparisons towards maybe other cars within this type of uh, you know size range I don't know how much a smart car would cost or maybe a Volkswagen up but do you know what one thing I love about Toyota cars is they're very reliable um, and also quite cheap to maintain so this is definitely a good first car I would definitely say so myself yeah so the thing I like about this car is you can literally just get in it and just go I don't need to worry about you know getting in it letting it run for 10 minutes make sure the engine is warm and you know that kind of stuff like I had to with the Golf R but obviously with this I just get in it and I just go and that's I think what I like about this car uh, it also tells me when is ideal to shift for better MPG on the dash it has uh, it's not cruise control it's like a cruise speed limit set so uh, if I don't want to go over 70 I just sit for it to do that and then basically I can have my foot planted on the accelerator and it won't go above 70 which is pretty cool I must say um, it's better to have that than nothing I guess uh, I've got Apple CarPlay I'm looking at the screen right in front of me which is pretty cool I've got the digital climate control so it looks a bit more modern definitely um, the seats are pretty comfortable I can't really complain maybe after a long long drive maybe my back might hurt I don't know but I feel like that's just the same with any type of car unless you're driving like a Bentley or a uh, Rolls Royce because they're literally yachts on wheels the heating in here is really good the car heats up really quick um, it's obviously got the Toyota safety system as well which I'll put in the screen of what it comes with and yeah I mean for your first car I can't complain about this car this is definitely better than my first car I can tell you that for free um, you know like if I had the option to have this 10 years ago or what my polo I would definitely have picked this okay so we're on the motorway so I can definitely put my foot down because this is definitely not going to go above the speed limit so I've just put in third <laughs> and this is my foot to the floor and now I'm now doing the speed limit at 70 miles an hour and as you can hear the engine is revving its head off but do you know what, it, it sounds pretty cool. If a uh, BMW E46 M3 lost three cylinders, it would sound like this. Like, it's very tinny, it's, it's pretty cool. What I have noticed about this car, is actually really good to park because it's so tiny. Um, literally it just seems like it's a perfect daily this is what I can definitely say like even if I had you know a sports car and I could have two cars I'd, I'd have this as my daily like just a little run around um, sometimes you just want to get in something and just go to wherever you need to go and this is definitely that type of car and even when you're driving you've got big windscreen big windows so for those first time drivers that may be a bit nervous on the road you can definitely see everything around you a full 360 view I can see perfectly what's behind me in my mirrors in my blind spots so you can't really complain if I must mention 
a negative, I'm probably gonna say that the steering wheel, you can't actually adjust it towards you. You can only adjust it up or down, which is quite annoying, because uh, I kind of want the steering wheel a bit more closer towards me, but I can't do that. So I don't know why Toyota didn't create it so you could pull the steering wheel towards you. And this seat, the driver's seat, you can pump it up and down. This is currently at its lowest, but the passenger seat you can't. So whenever you get a passenger, even if they're shorter than you, they will look a lot taller than you if you've pumped your seat all the way down. I wish it had an armrest. Like I feel like there's a lot of gap here. Like, and if I just want to rest my arm, I don't know what I'm doing with it. Like, I'm holding onto the gear knob or like holding onto my leg. But I just wish I had that like, somewhere where I could rest my arm. But these are just little teething issues, and I definitely didn't have that luxury in my first car. So I'm just kind of just pinpointing things that there has to be some kind of negative because not every car is perfect. I like where the cup holders are. There's two cup holders right in front of me, in front of the gear knob. So, you know, easy access to get my drinks. Like, you know, I don't need to like try and find it here. Even though there is a cup holder right here, but how often are you gonna have three drinks in one go? So there's two right in front of me. Um, I've got a USB port right there as well. And the USB, um, the USB socket to plug in to access Apple, Apple CarPlay. It's got a decent sized glove box for a small car, but it definitely does lack uh, storage space in this car because the, pop, the door card pockets are really small. You can't really fit nothing in them. Um, and there's no other, like, you know, like little hidden compartments or like I said, with a, sometimes when you get a uh, armrest, you've got like a bit, weight, a bit of storage there as well. You don't really get that in this car. The boot space isn't really big. It is quite small only actually holds 168 liters like I couldn't even get myself to lay in that in that boot however if you fold the seats down then obviously yeah you have a lot more access but if you've got passengers and you want to go on like a long road trip and you want to take some luggage with you it's going to be a struggle but overall I mean if I'm going to go back to when I had my first car would this be what I would look at 100% there is other cars out there, don't get me wrong. Um, so before people start trying to slate me in the comments, yes, there are other type of cars that you can get as a first car, but Toyota has kindly given me this car to feature. So, you know, this is the car that I've driven and I, I, I do say it would be a good ideal first car. And I can definitely vouch for their reliability. You know, Toyotas are pretty much bulletproof. So yeah, I definitely would look at potentially getting one of these if I was to go back and get in the first car or even now like as a little run around like you know i wouldn't even mind having this they're not that expensive they're not expensive at all to run at all um definitely insurance is going to be cheap on these you can get loads of different colors um you know the interior has got red like from the dog cards all right let's open the window a little bit and uh I mean, there is probably no point in me doing this, but let's just do it anyways. Let's give it, let's give it a full send. <laughs> do you know what? I'm gonna turn the traction off as well, because I can. Let's go. Yeah. yeah this car is so slow. <laughs> do you know what? Even taking corners, it's not too bad. I'm a bit nervous about the tires of how thin they are. You know, they're only 165, uh, 60, 15, so quite a thin tire. So I need to definitely make sure when I'm taking my corners that I don't tip over. But, okay, traction's off. Just listen to that. <laughs> that sounds so funny. Okay, let's leave a bit of a gap. This thing is so slow anyways, but let's go. It's full send. Second gear. <laughs> Come on. And that's speed limit. Yeah, 0 to 60 eventually. No, I'm joking. 0 to 60 in around 13.9 um, seconds is what Toyota state. So it probably would do that. It might do a bit better, um, especially if I'm if I'm driving. But yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it, guys, because this was only meant to be a little review. Right, let's take this corner. Second gear. <laughs> Yeah, so this is going to be a short-ish video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any further questions, uh, please don't hesitate to write in the comments below and I will do my best to reply.
Okay, let's go for it. States where the actual the newton meters of the power is that's when it kind of starts to really like become a bit more alive but from one to two thousand rpm it just doesn't really have any oomph to it which i wish this had a bit more power because i actually genuinely think that this car would actually be quite fun to drive let's just close the windows but yeah if there's anything more that you want to see on this car please let me know i have the car for a bit longer so um i don't mind doing a you know five things that I like, five things that I don't like about this car, like I've done on my Corolla, more than happy to do so. Just let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's a wrap for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.